sports betting brother and hey bring it up and thanks for stopping by here at sportsbettinguniversity.com as i'm boyd and uh, we teach and educate beginner and struggling sports bettors how to use the market analytics the market tools all the resources and one of which um we use and love is oddsjam oddsjam.com is a market betting tool that we incorporate in all of our classes and all of our courses so you can learn how to bet like a sharp a sharp is a person that makes a lot more money by getting the best price and picks a lot more winners by knowing where to go and contrarily where not to go in your sports betting and sports picks and we're going to talk about that today and uh, it's going to be a huge resource for you with a lot of good information to take going forward so sit back and we'll get started right now All right, guys, as I mentioned at sportsmanuniversity.com, we incorporate Odds Jam as a, as a resource and a betting tool in all of our courses and all of our content. And we're going to cover odds, probability, and how it correlates with uh, with payouts. And as I was mentioning, the reason I'm making this videos, I saw I, I do see all the time, uh, bottom line of the ESPN on a little ticker down there, the FPI, which is their football power index, will have a game that might say Team A minus – three. However, the weird part is they have the other team as being favored, say, 54, 56% of the time to actually win the game. And so, you know, I think a lot of people probably have the question of, well, if if Team B is, is uh, according to the power index, is uh, supposedly going to win more times than half, why are they the underdog? And so I think that's a question that can be clarified uh, in, in using not only Odds Jam, but also we'll get into the, the other the other mathematical details here in a minute. But Odds Jam basically is a tool and a resource that helps you identify with the market where you would want to place your wager, not only for the winning side, but also for the best price. And we'll get into that more a little bit later, but this is just something you can get involved with and do as a trial basis. If you haven't gotten over to Odds Jam yet, uh, use it. Use it Use it for free. Check it out. Test drive this Ferrari before you buy it, and uh, you'll find that it's, it's going to be something that you will always want to need and use as a resource. Here's a quick little conversion chart that maybe some people have seen quite a bit of, and if not, you know, I think it's important for you to consider this information and how it converts. Uh, so for example, point spread here, if you're at a minus three on a point spread or you're minus two and a half, if you come across here, the money line, um, you know, if you're betting on the favor, it should be a minus 140 or a minus 155 according to that point spread. Contrarily, if you took the other side, if you're plus three, you should be getting about a 135, a plus 135 on the money line. So you can, you can extrapolate this all throughout the entirety of it. And, I, and in the next slide, I have a little bit more of this for you. But this is important to know because if you're thinking to yourself, well, if, if Team B is 56% higher in ratings to probably win the game, is that something or a side you want to be on if the other team is actually favored? Now, we'll get into this here in a minute. But all this is baked into the price. All this is baked into the market. But you have to ask yourself, is it market driven or is it truly what the game should turn out to be? Something that we'll talk about more later. All right, and these charts here are a little bit tough to see on the right-hand side, but you can see all the way out to minus 390, minus 400, that, you know, the percent win percentage, you typically, you know, going to win 8 out of 10 times if you head on the money line. However, if you're risking 400 to win 100, and you fall into this 20% category on that, you know, 2 times out of 10 that this takes a loss, boy, that's a lot of money to give up and just something you probably don't want to be doing very, very frequently whatsoever on those minus large numbers on the money lines, although you do have a very high percentage to win. Um, it can clean you out pretty quick as far as um, your bankroll if you happen to be in this percentage over here that uh, is on the other side. So these are just conversions, and um, kind of you can expect the probability percentages with what these money line percentages are. So the FPI on ESPN is actually driven by what their their rankings, their order. They basically take a power index of a team's total FPI, which is their football power index of offense, defense, and special teams. And I actually don't use this. I really don't think it's um, – as accurate or as good as can be as a tool or a resource, I'll show you one here in a minute that I think is far, far better. But it's kind of interesting how they have this ranked, and some of the teams here um, are certainly not even in the top uh, 15 on the other ranking systems that we use, and we'll, we'll show you that here in a minute. But um, basically, this is how the market can get steered. If, if, if every one of their brothers looking at these ESPN tools and resources, and they're, and they're not as accurate as they could be as a resource, um, that's going to lead the market to be driven into 
um, an area that is not to their favor. So, but I do show this to you so you can kind of understand what you see on ESPN on that ticker and how they come to this um, based on their numbers and how they calculate it. All right, this is the one that we use uh, at SBU. We we actually create it each week um, a, a report <clears throat> that takes all the ATS information um, as well as the statistical information is, believe you me, baked into the price and baked into all the markets. But this is, I think, a better resource because it weighs the stats and the strength of schedule and the and it leverages it to where, let's say, for example, if a if a, if a quarterback is is making all these easy passes against uh, prevent defenses because they're down by three touchdowns, this is taking that into effect. Or maybe it's a running back that you know got an extra 18 yards because the the defense was again in a prevent situation and it's not leveraged. Uh, you know, say goal line. So it, it, it's just taking into effect in the leveraging of the performances, um, strength on strength and situation by situation versus just overall stats that ESPN has, which I think, again, is is not as precise as you can be. So this is certainly a better resource and a better tool. What I did here is I took the top 17 from the ESPN FPI and also the Football Outsiders DVOA. And you can see they do um, agree typically in the top three, four, five, which is totally fine. I think they have a different order a little bit here, but you can start to get into the six, seven, eight, nine, tens. For example, Kansas City didn't even make the top 17 for uh, Outsiders. And I think there's a good reason for that. They're definitely underperforming and having some struggles. And I, I just don't believe that this is you know, a, a, a true ranking or a true situation based on what we've seen. Now, it's, it's the eyeball test, right? So uh, the, the market's going to drive this more so with them. And this is going to be more of a factual, <laughs> the way it is, uh, non-biased situation. But that's kind of interesting to compare the two. And I've got the bottom ones coming up here in a minute. thought you might find it interesting to, to look at the bottom ranked um, DVO teams. This is overall. Um, again, we put out a report each week with SBU at sportsbanuniversity.com, which you can get for free as we actually break down the matchups. And so if, if Tennessee is playing, say, Miami, we'll actually extrapolate this and put this into a nice, clear report. So if you want that, stop over to the website uh, at sportsbanuniversity.com, and we have a ton of other information we're providing and putting out there. But I'll get to that later. Again, just the bottom-ranked FPI for ESPN, which, again, if you're basing your information off, off of uh, something that's not exactly accurate, that's why you're going to have some struggles because you're not inputting good information. You're kind of, you know, the old crap in, crap out thing. So um, this is going to be something to consider as you understand the probability, the odds, and the payouts, and using the best tools and best resources, which odds jam here in a minute. I'll show you how they do it and why they do it. Before I get into the final part about the odds jam tool and how they, you know, depict or show you this is something I want to show you is top ATS teams are top against the spread teams. Um, basically, these teams are all every year. Every year you have teams that outperform and kind of come up out of nowhere, sort of the dark horses. Certainly Arizona would have to be considered that this year. I'm sure people would certainly consider Dallas as well. If you just were playing these top three teams here, you'd be 18 and two against the spread. The numbers over here, ATS, you can see is the higher, the higher they are, um, is a good sign. So for example, Cincinnati's really covering a lot of ground here. Again, another dark horse and the teams kind of come up out of nowhere, but, um, you'll have teams that underperform. Uh, at the bottom, we'll show you that here in a minute. And the teams that are sort of outperforming um, or overperforming um, are going to be in this top top area. Certainly, teams like Buffalo um, were expected to do well, and they are still you know doing really well. Plus eleven ATS, and the margin of victory is a seventeen point five. So they're blowing teams out, and the, you know these 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 games are not very close, and they're four and two. Um, so the closer they are to zero, like this one here in Cleveland, those are all nail biters. You know, this is really coin tosses. So that's how you would read these charts against Seattle. Same type of thing. Very close, tight, tight games. So if you want to give yourself a heart attack, stay within these ranges. So the bottom part of this ATS chart, I had a podcast that we did for college football and talked about playing from the tips. This is the tip of the other end as far as the ones that are struggling. These are the teams that can't even find the team hotel. Clearly, you know, Casey's having a hard time this year. Um, the, the ATS is minus seven. So they're really, you know, they're really getting a, a large margin and not even close, tight games. Um, you, know, you get a lot of overvalue in Tampa, obviously with Brady and the Super Bowl champions, but you get teams that are overvalued down at the bottom here, and 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 the, and the odds makers know that, you know. And then this group is sort of made up of the underperforming teams and the crappy teams. So again, 
I would say KC underperforming, um, overpriced value. You know, they're really hedging a lot, knowing people are going to be riding Tampa. So you have to ask yourself that too: is when you're putting money on a side or putting money on a game, you know, is this is this an asset? Is this investment overpriced, overbought, oversold, that kind of thing, um, or is it just a, is just a lead balloon? You know, the Jets, uh, Redskins are clearly or Washington football team clearly underperforming. You can see again over here, these larger numbers would would dictate how sizable the um, finishes of these games are as far as how far they're off. So um, interesting information to know before you get into the tool of odds. Jet. And finally, this is, this is how they do it. And this, this is a resource and tool. This is the, just purely the point spread of a particular game I wanted to pull up. And so what this, this P stands here is it used to be pinnacle pinnacle still the, I uh, changed the name of this, I guess, to the odds jam perfect line which is the most efficient um, line available and kind of the truth of the baseline of what we didn't uh, anticipate things to be on. So by using this information here, you can identify where this, this would be where the, where they are getting a lot of their market, a lot of their smart money coming in on. So if that's the case, you can either ride with that wave and take the best possible price of the available books that you have in your area. Um, or this might actually show you that, you know, maybe the dog is a better side or a better area, and then you can go get the best price of these books. So again, as I mentioned, it shows you not only who, who potentially you'd want to be on, but in addition to that, where you get the best price. So it's basically telling you if it was say, this is a car deal where, what the best vehicle is. And then it tells you out of the 15 dealerships where to go to get the best price. So it really is a no brainer tool to use. Uh, to help you expedite your your capping and your information very quickly, very efficiently, and it increases um, your ROI by saving you thousands of dollars and thousands of hours uh, using it and, and helping you navigate very quickly. All right, guys, hopefully this is a little bit of a help understanding the odds, probability, and the magnitude of how it can change your your profitability and your ROI and using Odds Jam to identify which teams it um you know, you may want to be on and, and where the best place to put those wagers in and, and using that daily consistently uh, in all your wagers. And we want to make sure we invite you to, to watch all the videos, the educational videos uh, with Alex and as uh, so he shares some of the, the knowledge and also um, Randall and uh, everybody there at Odds Jam as we get this community going. Also want to make sure you join the Twitter. Uh, lots of good information coming out there. And lastly, want to invite you over to sportsbetuniversity.com to get your free video, the Bachelors of Betting video, to help you understand and um, sort of the, the expectations of, of what it takes to, you know, make it go with this. And so we also have a lot of the free content that you can take advantage of. So hope this helped. And if you have any questions, as always, you can email us at info at sportsmanuniversity.com.